Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing today? You are highly welcome to this beautiful vlog. So guys, let me not disturb you guys. Relax and watch this my video to the end. Happy Sunday to you all. I love you all. If you are new to this my channel, you are highly welcome once again. So for my oldies, you are always highly welcome this, to this beautiful vlog and this beautiful channel. I love you all. So guys, um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to stop breastfeeding. How I started, how I stopped my own breastfeeding. So let me not talk too much. Let me just leave you guys to watch to the end. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Precious Vlog. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Precious Vlog. For my oldest, thank you for always tuning in. My newcomers, you are also highly welcome to this beautiful vlog. So guys, you guys are highly welcome to this new video today. So today, if you have a toddler, how do you feel? <laughs> if you have a toddler and you want to stop breastfeeding, I don't know how you really feel. How does you work it? How do I mean, how do you do it for you to stop breastfeeding and all of that? What is the process that you take? So dry in let's watch this video to the end let's discuss a little bit yes guys today is sunday how are you all doing hope you guys go to church i'm just coming back from church as you guys can see you can see children at my back yes so guys today in this video i'm here to explain some certain things um about stopping of breastfeeding for my own uh, although that's breastfeeding is all about personal decision yes in this my video in this my channel i don't talk um about people that don't breastfeed no 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 that one is your personal issue but what i'm talking now is how to stop breastfeeding if you want to stop breastfeeding like me i have taken the journey i have started my own journey of stopping my own my child um i have stopped breastfeeding him is one year and four months yes or one year and four months i guess so i have stopped breastfeeding him so so the guys it has not been easy for me um i've been passing a lot of pains you know um like at the beginning when i started i was like ah, i might sure that i'm going to stick on through this process because it was not really 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 easy for me because the pains i was passing and the fluid was heavily coming out you understand and i i now decided so no i don't think i will stop it but meanwhile i think in another direction and another side another thoughts i was saying no my baby is overdue to stop breastfeeding do you get so i have to take the decision mm, i bought some milk yes i bought some milk because he normally cries in the nights, mainly in the afternoon he stops. So I not take up my decision. Another stress to me. Yes, it's another stress altogether in my own stress. <laughs> so guys, I decided to buy um milk. This man, yes, I bought milk for him. So what I normally do is uh, in the afternoon, I I I do the milk and give him. Yes, in the night, I also prepare the milk and also keep it in a preservative way so that anytime she wake up and stop and started crying, I will give him. Although, the, the, although that, that's my own, I normally give him at times, he will refuse to take it. The reason why he refuses to take it is just all about he is overdue to stop breastfeeding. He is now, my son now knows what is the difference between breastfeeding and the milk. So it was not all that easy for me to stop it. Yes, it was not all that easy for me. Sorry, if you see me looking this side, I was looking for someone that was picking something behind the motor. So it was not easy for me. You get, yes, it was not really, really, really easy for me because <laughs> now I decided to take up the decision on my own. I do the milk. At times he will drink. At times he will reject it for me. I still keep on moving. What I do normally, he if he started crying in the midnight, I will stand. You know that I stand, I will just look at my table side and give him the milk. Sometimes if he refuses, I will still bring biscuits in that night and be giving him. So that is how I do it. So guys, if there is another method that you use 
to stop your baby this breastfeeding and it went all successful for you please still comment under the comment section and tell me the method you use yes so along the line i was feeling too much pain that i can't resist the pain so i have to go to the pharmacy to explain to them very very well like the first pharmacy i went to at the first uh, clinic or pharmacy, I don't know what you people call it. It depends the state you are. The place I, I go first, I explained to the woman. I saw a midwife there, so I explained to the woman. So the woman was like telling me I shouldn't use any drugs. I shouldn't take any drugs. And that it will stop by his own. It will stop by, you understand, the fluid will stop and the pain will also reduce. I was like, okay, ma. So I now went home back. So immediately I went home back, my dear, <laughs> my people. It wasn't easy for me. The pain keep on re, re, the pain keep on increasing more and more. Do you get? So I have to go back to another place, another clinic. So when I go back to another clinic, they they have to they they tell me that uh, that um, I will buy some drugs. And me normally I was avoiding to take drugs. Uh, avoid after it failed. So. The dog there was really assuring me that this one has no after effect. So I was really expecting a big drug, you know, a, a drug that I have not seen before for me to take it for all these pains to, for this pains to stop. You understand? So to my own greatest surprise, so he now bring us a bicham ampiclos. Yes, a bicham ampiclos is what he gave me, and. And one of that drugs, I don't even know the name of that one. But what I could recall, what I can remember there is this particular uh, antibiotics. So when I started taking it, oh man, my pains keep on reducing. <laughs> Sit down. My keep, sorry guys. So uh, my pains keep on reducing very, very, very well. So I now see the improvement of the pains because before I was like, the pain is too, too, too much for me that I can't be able to be. It's even the last time I went to work when people were discussing, I was like, mm, smiling. But the smiling wasn't from my whole heart because I'm in pain. I'm, I'm emotionally downcast. <laughs> so I mean, I mean, truly in pain, you get so. But now, since I, I started taking the pajama pick cloth, I am seeing very, very, very much improvements. I'm no more feeling the pains actually, like I said, yes, I'm no more feeling the pains again. So guys, if there is another drug that you normally take or another things that you normally do, um, if you want to stop breastfeeding, still comment under the comment section, tell me the method you use, what and what that you use that works for you when you wanted to stop breastfeeding your baby. Although that uh, some people don't take anything at all at all, um, to my own greatest knowledge, yes. There is one of my friends, he don't take anything. Some don't take anything at all at all. Mainly people mainly people that has no where they are going. Because if you want to stop this breastfeeding, number one, the reason why I have to take that bitch charm to help me to help me about the pains and the excess fluid is just all about. Number one, I usually go out every morning. If you are going to work early in the morning, you'll be feeling pains. And the fluid will be too much on you. If you don't know what to do, it will also stain your clothes you are wearing. And which is really disgusting. You know, if someone sees by you, they smell it somehow. It's not really nice. Uh, so, so guys, so this is my whole journey about this breastfeeding issue. Stopping of breastfeeding. Uh, stopping, stopping of uh, giving my tenla a breast to suck. You understand? I've been stopping it all this while. This is my one week of doing it now. Although that I've been seeing the improvement. Although that at a time, he will come closer to me. At a time, he will not come. Do you get? So, I'm not seeing the really, really positive of it. Yes. So, although that um, I normally buy, like once I told you people, I bought um, Nan. I have said it here. I bought Nan. Not only that, Nan, I used to buy all these happy hour, all these things that children used to drink. Yes, I bought it also because whenever he cries, I will bring out those ones and give him. It tells me a lot for me to be. It tells me a lot in this mind, Johnny. 
please like i said before if you know that you have not subscribed to my youtube channel okay. subscribe like comment and turn the notification bell so that until time i post my videos you can be able to see it please watch this my video to the end watch my ads yes thank you for always tuning in thank you i love you on